4 Methods of Controlling DC Motor But first, let us know the basics of DC motor, as the name suggests. This motor operates on DC voltage. It has two power terminals. By interchanging the terminals, the direction of rotation can be changed. The speed can be controlled by either controlling the current or the applied voltage across armature. First method. Connecting DC motor directly to the power source, which is battery here. Grab a DC motor and a power source. We are using a 9 volts battery here. Connect first terminal of motor to positive terminal of battery and another terminal to negative terminal of the battery. Let's make this wire black in color. After starting the simulation the motor will start rotating. By interchanging the polarity you can reverse the direction of rotation. Second method. Connecting DC motor to the power pins of Arduino board. We will need a DC motor and an Arduino board. Connecting the first terminal of motor to the plus 5 volts of the board. And the second terminal to the ground pin of the board. After powering the board, the motor will start spinning. You don't need to write any sort of code. Third method. Speed control of DC motor with potentiometer. Grab a DC motor, a DC power supply and a potentiometer. We will connect the two terminals of the potentiometer to the two terminals of the battery. Then we will connect one terminal of the motor to the ground terminal of battery and the other terminal to the wiper of potentiometer. Let's color this wire green. This setup will create a voltage divider circuit. So by varying the resistance of the potentiometer the voltage across the motor will vary proportionally and so the speed. When the potentiometer is at its minimum, the voltage across resistance is maximum, the motor is spinning at its maximum RPM, and by varying the resistance the RPM decreases. When the potentiometer is at its maximum, the voltage across the resistance is minimum, the motor rotates at its minimum RPM or stops. Fourth method. Connecting DC motor to digital pins of Arduino board. We will grab a DC motor and an Arduino board. And connect the first terminal of motor to ground pin of board, and other terminal to any of the digital pins of the board. Digital pin number 3 here. Now let's begin with the code. We will provide a square wave to the motor. So the motor will rotate for some time, and then stop for some time. The motor is connected to digital pin 3. So, we will write 3 in pin mode. And the signal is going out of the board, so it is output. Now we need a high, that is plus 5 volt signal on pin 3. So we will digital write high on pin number 3. We will take a delay of 1 second, that is 1000 milliseconds. After that we will give a low signal to the digital pin 3. We need the motor, to stop for 1 second. So, a delay of 1000 milliseconds. After running the simulation we can see that motor is running at 5555 RPM for 1 second, and then stopping for 1 second. This process is repeating continuously. This is a simulation. Do not try this with real Arduino board and motor. The Atmega cannot source the current required for motor. The microcontroller will shut itself down. We will cover L293D that is motor driver in the next video. If you have another method to control motor, do let us know in the comments section below.